Hello everyone, Jewel here. To follow up my recent new PCG RPG list, I think it's only fair for me to also make the Nintendo Switch version. I mean, you know, Switch is sometimes feels like another world when it comes to the game releases. Please note that I don't make this list based on my verdict because some of these games are not released yet. Alright then, let's get started. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown our Pokemon Legends Arceus is a game that was just released this January. It's your typical Pokemon or monster taming RPG, but with an additional of open world RPG elements. I'm pretty sure all the Pokemon enjoyers out there are already buying and playing this game, but if you're a newcomer and always hate the simplistic aspect of the classic formula, maybe this one can finally change your mind. Despite all the setbacks, Digimon Survive finally confirmed to be released in the summer. A new trailer of Digimon Survive show a combination of visual novel storytelling and tactical RPG. According to the trailer, your choice can impact karma, avidity, and digivolutions. There's also multiple ending and story progression that will surely guarantee replayability. I will admit the publishers have some balls to releasing this game at the same time that Xenoblade 3 came out, but nevertheless the game have a potential to be a good additional JRPG in Switch library. But there's more than one way to prevail. Atelier Sophie 2 Alchemist of the Mysterious Dream is an improvement on all aspects of its predecessor. While Sophie 2 feels very similar to the Raizai titles, it manages to carve an identity of its own through its battle system. It sticks with a traditional and strict turn-based Atalia combat system rather than transitioning to Raizai's real-time and turn-based hybrid. For those who didn't play the first game and want to straight up jumping into this one, don't worry since it does offer the option to watch a brief video summary to catch up on the event so far so you'll still be able to understand what is going on. <laughs> SD Gundam Battle Alliance is an action RPG that allows players to battle SD versions of mobile suits from Gundam series. The story takes place in G-Universe, a world where Gundam story become twisted caused by a strange phenomenon known as breaks. To correct their distorted history, the player leads a tree unit of mobile suits and pilots from across Gundam history. Fortunately, you don't have to play alone, because the game does offers multiplayer option, so you and your friends can fix the history together. Pokemon Legends Arceus turns out to be not the only Pokemon game that will brighten your 2022. This November, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company decided to release Pokemon Scarlet and Violet into the Switch market. Just like Arceus, the game said to also have some open world elements. Not only that, the games also introduced 3 new starter Pokemon and 2 new legendary Pokemon. Looks like 2022 will be a good year for the Pokemon enjoyers. What do you know? When looking at the Final Fantasy VII reunion announcement, I thought there is no way that this game will be released on Switch. But oh boy, I was so wrong. However, Mariko Sato did confirm that there will be differences in resolution and frame rate. I mean, everyone surely already guess it. It will be 1080p in dog mod, 720p in handheld with both forking around 30 FPS. It sounds a little bit concerning, but hey, let's have some faith. The veteran producer did say that the team is aiming for the players to have the same great experience regardless of your platform. Good. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Do you still remember the good old days of playing Front Mission series? 
uh, not the front mission evolve, excuse me, cause that game is a heretics of the franchise, but what I mean is the mecha tactical RPG that was popular back in the days. That's right, prepare your wallet because this summer, front mission first remake will be released on Switch. It's a bit of a bummer cause the game only releases on Switch for now, but hey, at least we got some hope that the franchise might return to its former glory. So I guess we need to say thank you to Nintendo for making it happen. Uncover the great storyline of this classic. Let us pry out their weakness. Imagine playing Octopath Traveler, but with tactical RPG mechanic. If you're not a fan of HD 2D style graphics, then you probably will not enjoy this game. But if you are somewhat open-minded with the art style, I think you are going to really appreciate this game. The tactical RPG mechanic is polished and had a lot of depth, which is convenient for beginner and hardcore players. The story is brilliant, it has multiple endings, and your choices along the road do matter to the story progression. Overall, if you love tactical JRPG like Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem, this game is a must-have. Damn it! No! The Blue Fox is first. Long Did you ever imagine the days that Square Enix finally let your wallet in peace? Yeah, me neither. After embracing the tactical RPG genre with triangle strategy. Turns out they're still going to release another new tactical RPG this year, called the Diofield Chronicle. If Triangle Strategy feels somewhat similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, the Diofield Chronicle just to add some new twist on its gameplay mechanic, combining XCOM directional movement with some real-time strategy elements. I don't know about you, but I would say this game has the potential to be one of the best Switch RPG games this year. A resource war looms on the horizon. You don't say. Near Automata is a masterpiece thanks to its unique storytelling, gameplay, and soundtrack. And to think that we can play this masterpiece on the go? Well, I bet every 2B enjoyer will shit their pants. I mean, imagine playing Near Automata in the toilet, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Anyway, the Switch release already included all the previous DLC, while adding new Switch exclusive costume that you never see from its original release or Game of the Yora edition. So make sure to buy this game on Switch, especially if you never played it before. Life here begins today. Life Sim RPG starts getting more recognition every single year. With more game colonizing the genre like Stardew Valley or our beloved Rune Factory series, it's only a matter of time until some AAA company starts to join the competition. And here we are, Square Enix reveal a new live sim RPG that's going to be released this November. It's called Harvestella. Honestly, I don't like the name since it feels like you want to combine Harvest Moon with Final Fantasy Elegance, but you know what? The trailer shows a lot of promising value. It has cool 3D anime graphics, fantastic environment, and engaging combat mechanic. I don't want to get my hopes high, but I would say keep your eyes on it. Cycle of the seasons, crops weather. Fire Emblem Warriors: Three Hopes improves upon its predecessor in so many ways. It is basically a combination of Dynasty Warrior, GRPG, and some tactical elements. If you have ever played a Musou game, it's easy to assume they are just a big mass of button measures. But these Fire Emblem spin-offs actually require a bit of a strategic mind. There are a lot of characters and different classes, all of which have different combos. You can also switch between up to 4 characters mid-battle to cover different areas of the map or make use of their specific advantages. Overall, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes is a solid exclusive game for every Switch owners. Trails from Zero is the second arc of the entire Trail series. 
originally released in Japanese version, we, the English enjoyers, have been crying and praying to Falcom so that they will release it on the English version. And finally, after so many years, we finally get it. The Legend of Heroes Trail series is hands down the best JRPG story design for me. If only the gameplay has more depth, I will easily make this series the best JRPG of all time. Mission Start! Persona 5 Royal are finally available on PC? Okay, cool. Oh wait, they will also be available on Switch? Dude, shut up and take my money. Imagine you can finally have a social life despite not having a real social life, but now you can touch the grass outside. If anything, that is the most 2022 things ever. In short, please just buy this game. You think I was done? You think Persona 5 Royal is the best thing coming to Switch this year? If there's any franchises that sits on the throne of my top 3 JRPG franchise, it will be Seno. With a big success on their Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2, which you have to play if you haven't played already, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is basically a must-have, especially if you are a Switch JRPG enjoyer. Better graphics, better combat mechanic, and of course potentially better story, since there are some hints that specify they will establish the connection between the first two Xenoblade. So if you're a true and faithful follower since the good old days of Xenogears, then you already know what you have to do. And as for the newcomers, please play the previous title first and join the religion. Only then, you are deserved to play this game. Alright boys, I think that's it for today. I know that I'm not Sir Gideon the All-Knowing, so maybe there are still other new Switch GRPG that I haven't mentioned yet. So how about sharing your best new GRPG games that probably deserve a spot in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss another grad list. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Peace. Thank you.